Hello everyone, this is Revit Advisor channel and today I'm going to talk about how to optimize the Revit project browser using project parameters. One of the ways to improve your workflow in your project browser would be to use project parameters. Let's say here I have five levels and that would be okay if you work on your own but if the model is central then normally more than one person are involved in which case it would be better to create a separate section for working views and sheet views. In addition, I'm going to show you how to create section for levels and areas. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm going to create three parameters. I'm going to go to the Manage tab, Project Parameters. I'm going to add a parameter. Call it view type and this type of parameter will allow me to categorize my duplicated floor plan view under working view and or sheet view. I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. In this case I'm going to make it a project parameter but if you want to export this parameter into another project you might as well make it uh, to be shared parameter. But as I said, in this case, in this example, I'm going to leave it as project parameter. Discipline is going to be common. Type of parameter is going to be text. I'm going to group it under general. It's going to be instance parameter. And I'm going to leave this one as it is. And here I'm going to select views checkbox because I want this parameter, uh, view type parameter, appear in the views section only. I'm going to hit the OK button. I'm going to add a parameter, call it level, project parameter, common, text, general, instance, leave this as it is. But this time I'm going to select views uh, checkbox and sheets checkbox because I want this type of parameter appear in the view section and sheet section. I'm gonna hit the OK button. And the last parameter I want to create is gonna be called area parameter. Again, I'm gonna demonstrate why I need them in a minute. It's gonna be again common text, general, instance leave this as it is and select a views and sheets checkboxes because again I want this type of parameter appear in the views section and sheets section hit the OK button hit the OK button one more time once I have created the parameters I need I'm going to need to make some adjustment to the views and sheets browsers. First of all, I'm going to right click on the views browser organization and create a new organization scheme. I'm going to call it Revit Advisor. Hit the OK button. Here in the grouping and sorting tab, I'm going to group it by view type, then group it by level, by area and finally by a family and type. But you can group it however works best for your project. I'm gonna hit the OK button. I'm gonna select the Revit Advisor checkbox and hit the OK button. And I can see that Revit Advisor organization scheme has been applied to the Views browser. I'm going to do the exact same procedure to the Sheets browser. I'm going to call a new organization scheme and call it Revit Advisor. Hit the OK button. But this time in the grouping and sorting tab, I'm going to group it by level, and then by area. Hit the OK button. Select the Revit Advisor checkbox hit the OK button. And again I can see that Revit Advisor organization scheme I have just created have been applied to the Sheets browser. 
it's time to test it. I'm going to duplicate level 1 for plan view. Add my initials. And here in the properties dialog box, if I scroll down to the very bottom, I can see the three parameters I created earlier. I'm going to call this as working view. It's going to be level 01. And I'm going to leave area as empty for now. Hit the apply button. And you can see that the floor plan view I have just duplicated has been moved to the working view section. And here I can make any changes I want to the visibility graphics. And if there is another person who wants to work on a model, they can duplicate any level they want, move it at init their initials, move it to the working view, and make um, the changes they want to make to the visibility graphics. In the same manner, you can create a sheet view category for views which will be placed on sheets. I'm going to duplicate level 2, call it level 2 floor plan view and here in the properties dialog box I'm gonna call it sheet view it's gonna be level 0 2 and let's say that the building is too big to be fitted on a one sheet at a scale of 1 to 100 and I want to split my sheet views into west side and east side so I'm gonna call this one as west side and you can see that the floor plan view I have just duplicated has been categorized accordingly it has been moved to the sheet view section level 2 west side floor plans again floor plan views is just an example you can do the same procedure with 3D views sections etc and finally the sheets can also be categorized if I scroll down, create a new sheet, select it, and here in the properties dialog box, if I scroll down to the very bottom, I can see those two parameters I created earlier. I'm going to call it level 2 and west side and you can see that it has been categorized accordingly again this is just an example to show you that these options exist it's down to you to find out what works best for you